You felt it. That sudden wildfire sweeping your cheeks when someone calls your name in front of the crowd, or that stubborn throbbing in places we rarely talk about after a long makeout session gone nowhere. What if I told you both are the same secret superpower, hiding in plain sight inside your veins? And the real reason behind something men jokingly call blue balls and women mutter about as those cramps? Stick around, because in the next few minutes we're unlocking the forbidden story of vasocongestion. And chances are, it's writing chapters in your body right now. Here's today's roadmap. What vasocongestion really is, why your body summons it, the steamy bits about arousal, the pains nobody warns you about, relief hacks, and a mid-video twist that blew my mind when I dug into the research. Ready? Let's pump some knowledge. First, the textbook one-liner. Vasocongestion is the temporary swelling of body tissue caused by a tidal wave of extra blood flow. It's your body's version of rush hour traffic, except the highway is your arteries. The term shows up in medical journals, psych textbooks, and yes, your awkward high school health class slides you tried not to giggle at. Here's the play-by-play. -play. One, your brain fires a signal down the autonomic nervous expressway. No permission slip needed. Two, tiny smooth muscles inside vessel walls relax. Picture loosening a belt after dinner. Three. Diameter widens, blood pours in, local pressure spikes, tissues puff up. The fancy term for that widening? Vasodilation. But hold that thought, because sometimes the brain doesn't send the memo to tighten the belt afterward, and that's where trouble brews. More on that sore story in a bit. Vasocongestion isn't just about the bedroom. It fuels a bright red blush when your crush catches your eye, inflames that itchy mosquito bite, and even powers the pumped look after a killer gym set. Heck, during REM sleep, your genitals swell just because your brain's running a Hollywood dreamthon. Okay, curtain up on the headline act. In phase one of the human sexual response, aptly named excitement, vasocongestion turns dormant tissues into party balloons. Penises stiffen, clitorises lift a now showing sign, labia swell, nipples perk, and the infamous sex flush creeps across chests. Evolution basically said, let's advertise the event with neon. Subtle? Not really. Effective? Absolutely. Gentlemen, think of the corpus cavernosum like two hydraulic cylinders. Nitric oxide signals relax the valves, blood whooshes in, veins pinch shut so the pressure cooker holds. Voila, structural integrity achieved. No blood, no lift. Simple hydraulics 101. For people with vulvas, vasocongestion plumps the vaginal walls and outer labia, while glands exude a slick lubricant. Picture a flower blooming and misting itself to protect delicate petals. Same idea, but with a lot more nerve endings. Pop quiz in the comments. True or false, your nose can swell during sexual arousal thanks to vasocongestion. Hit pause, drop your guess, then smash play. I'll reveal the truth in 30 seconds. Time to confront the urban legend, epididymal hypertension, the clinical name behind the slang, blue balls. It's a temporary ache in the testicles when arousal lingers without orgasm. Why the color? Deoxygenated, pooled blood can give the scrotum a slight bluish tint. Though, frankly, you won't turn into a smurf. Sorry, gentlemen, no medical excuse to pressure anyone into sex. The discomfort fizzles on its own or after solo flight. Ladies, Meet the underpublicized sister, vulvar vasocongestion or blue vulva. Same blood traffic jam, same dull ache, equal opportunity awkwardness. Myth number one, blue balls cause permanent damage. Nope, zero evidence. Myth number two, if you don't relieve it, you'll be infertile. Also nope. Myth number three, it only hits teenagers. Adults file plenty of complaints too. Quick breather, if you're learning something new, or cringing remembering your own awkward stories, tap like so others find this info, smash subscribe so you never miss our next body mystery, and ring that bell before it rings you. Vasocongestion isn't always friendly. During menstruation, the uterus sheds its lining, vessels dilate, and tissues puff up. Hello, cramps. In some cases, chronic pelvic congestion syndrome can cause lasting pain that mimics varicose veins nestled deep in the pelvis. Even migraines sometimes involve facial flushing from rogue vasodilation. Ready for the twist? The same drug famous for treating erectile dysfunction, sildenafil, 
has been studied to amplify vaginal vasocongestion and treat some forms of female arousal disorder. Relief options? 1. Orgasm, solo or partnered, fastest drain valve. 2. Cool compress or a brief cold shower to constrict vessels. 3. Lie on your back and elevate hips. Gravity lends a hand. 4. Distract your brain. Think taxes, your ex's new haircut, interpretive dance, whatever chills the arousal. Persistent pain or swelling. Call a healthcare pro because torsion, infections, or varicose veins can masquerade as simple congestion. Certain meds tweak blood vessel tone. Antihypertensives may reduce vasocongestion, while some antidepressants flatten arousal entirely. Over the counter decongestants tighten vessels body wide, occasionally shrinking erections. Always check inserts or ask your doc. On my first college date, I laughed mid sip. Water sprayed everywhere and I turned crimson. My date kindly said, Aw, oh, you blush like a sunrise. I was mortified, until I learned that flush meant my sympathetic nervous system was basically throwing glitter. Vasocongestion, ruining and saving dates since forever. Your turn. Write your funniest blush moment in just five words down below. Best one gets pinned. Remember our poll? True. Nasal erectile tissue swells during arousal. So, if your partner sounds stuffy at that moment, congratulations. It's science, not allergies. Occasional vasocongestion equals normal body feature. Chronic unexplained swelling or pelvic pain equals health check time. Early diagnosis of varicosities, pelvic varices, or hormonal imbalances saves a world of hurt. If only we could carry a giant wrench for runaway blood vessels, right? Sadly, the human toolkit is more subtle. Breathing exercises, cool packs, and conversation. Rapid fire recap. Vasocongestion equals blood traffic jam. It makes sex possible, blushes probable, and occasional pain inevitable. It affects all genders, can be relieved, rarely dangerous, and sometimes medicated. Got it? Good. One last peek into tomorrow. Engineers are testing discrete wearables that monitor real-time genital vasocongestion to help diagnose sexual dysfunction and even enhance VR intimacy. Imagine your smartwatch knowing you're turned on before you do. Privacy settings, anyone? So the next time your cheeks flame, your lover glows, or your nether regions throb, remember, you're witnessing the ancient, dramatic dance of vasocongestion. Tricks us, helps us, sometimes hurts us, but always reminds us we're thrillingly, embarrassingly human. Leave your five-word blush tail below. Hit like if your vessels feel wiser. Subscribe for the next Body Mystery Deep Dive. Share this with a friend who needs to know. And if you found value, tap that thanks button to keep the science flowing. Until next time, stay curious, stay kind, and keep the blood moving in all the right places.